my beautiful MK Love fam and welcome back to another episode of Weekly Angel Guidance. And if you're new to the MK Love fam, my name is Melanie Kate Love and I make new videos every single Sunday or Monday depending on where you are in the world. Now this week is from July the 22nd to the 28th. We're going through two phases of the moon. We have five planets in retrograde. And oh my gosh, we're experiencing a massive shift with this eclipse. Now, if you haven't watched any of my previous episodes, go back and check out the new moon and the full moon videos. It'll give you an overview as to what you can expect because eclipse season is the most powerful aspect that we could experience in terms of astrological influences. So let's get into the phases of the moon so from monday to wednesday we have the disseminating moon and your affirmation for this time is i am so happy and grateful for all the blessings in my life i give and receive abundance from a place of love so this is going to be with us from monday through wednesday now what else do we have so thursday to sunday we have the last quarter of the moon now affirmation for this one is i am so happy and grateful for everything that i have achieved this month it's been a lot of work and i know that my future self will thank me for it i breathe with ease and finish off any outstanding tasks so think of this as kind of like the rounding up finishing things that you have started at the beginning of this moon cycle, but don't push it, you know, do the very best you can. But if you know, you planned too much, then next month, maybe just wane it in just a little bit and just see how you go from there. In terms of astrological influences on the screen right now, you can see all of them right here. There's quite a lot. I'm going to go through it quickly. If you want to find out more, then screenshot it and then do your own research because I'm not an astrologer. Um, all of this information here I've taken off astrologyking.com and kind of summarized what he has written because I don't understand enough about astrology yet. Okay, so one of the five retrogrades is Jupiter retrograde, which began in April. This is a time of philosophical introspection um, and it's a very spiritual time as well. Now this in, has to do a lot with your relationships, either romantic or the intimate relationships, basically your family and your closest friends. Pluto retrograde, which began on April the 24th, is here until October the 3rd. Now, Pluto is about massive transformation and can bring up a lot of fears and anxieties as we're moving out of our comfort zone into the unknown. Now, patience and determination is required as you navigate your own personal power during this time. And if you have a look at what we were speaking about last week with the lunar eclipse full moon in Capricorn, this is a time when we're really speaking our truth, harnessing that inner strength of the lion and we're experiencing, we're basically, um, how do I explain that? We're basically stepping into our power. Maybe this is unknown for some of you, owning your truth, telling your story. Okay, then we have the Saturn retrograde, which began on April the 30th and is here till September the 18th. Saturn is the Lord of Karma. It actually gives you a double dose of karma during this time. So your lessons relate to your thoughts and your words, which is very important if you're ter in terms of like, the law of attraction and your manifestation journey. Now, this is a difficult time for making important decisions due to these negative thoughts and being very indecisive. That's an interesting one. Then Neptune retrograde, which began on June the 21st and is here until uh, November the 27th. This is about delusions and deceptions, which can bring up some disappointments for you. Maybe you had a vision of what you wanted and things are shifting and not looking, but just know that it is divinely orchestrated. Maybe you were on the wrong path. Now, in order to work with this, channel your inspirations and enthusiasm and hard work into your dream life. Like what do you actually want to manifest? Just focus on that, stay in that lane, and that will help to set things free. We also have Mercury retrograde, which is the planet of communication, travel, and electronics. It's also in Leo. Leo being the line, which is interesting as we've got this um, lovely, I don't know, this lioness or lion, depending if you're male or female, wherever you are watching around the world. Um, we're channeling that inner strength, that inner power. 
um, and that is here until August the 2nd. So it just means with retrogrades that you are seeing things, things are being slowed down in retrograde. They're slowing down, which means that you are able to see things that you have missed. Anyways, that's basically it. Giving you the update of the faces of the moon. Now let's get into tarot and figure out what exactly do our angels want us to know? So if you're new to the firm, I use the Shadowscapes Tarot, and this is just a general tarot reading for all signs of the zodiac. So just take from this what feels best for you. All right, let's see what your focus card is for the week, and then I'll go through each of the seven days of the week. Focus card for the week. Oh, the Ten of Swords. Didn't we have this? We've had this quite recently. So the Ten of Swords is allowing what doesn't serve you. It's interesting that we're still going through that motion. I feel like we're gonna be in this until basically January. We're gonna feel like oh, things, like we, we saw a couple of weeks ago or last week, the sun, you know, the sun's coming out. We're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, but yeah, you're seeing it, but it takes work and progress. So it's like, be easy on yourself, be gentle, and things are going to start to work out for you. So this is a reminder to release what doesn't serve you, which fits in with, well, perfectly with everything that we're going through. I wonder how this is going to fit in terms of the phases of the moon. So we'll piece that together now. All right, so the Ten of Swords is basically the focus of the week. Monday, the disseminating moon. I am so happy and grateful for all the blessings in my life. I give and receive abundance from a place of love. The balance. Angels, what do we need to know for Monday for my MK Love fam? There it is. Oh, there may be two. Oh, there's actually that one. And I'm going to put this one if I need extra clarity. So let's see what we need to know for Monday. July the 22nd. The King of Wands. We had this last week. And I have shuffled these. Pfft, this always happens. The Four of Wands, which is a massive celebration. And then we've got the Ten of Wands. Okay. So the King of Wands is you've gotten to a level. I swear this was in last week. You've gotten to a level in terms of the things that you have manifested in terms of your creative talents and abilities. I know that this is a time of healing. Maybe you have been working on something and maybe now you've got like the green light. I kind of feel, kind of feel like I'm repeating myself. Everything kind of just flows together. So you've gotten to an, an end. You've also got a lot of lions around you as well oh yeah we said this last week too there's one massive one in front but you've got your back to it but you're actually turning and facing the two big lines and you've got a stave um stave is that how you say it or like a tri like a not a triton isn't a triton in a different shape i don't know you're just holding something with like a lion's head on top of it which means that you're very much a you know, you're very much protected. You've got that inner strength, you've got that inner passion and you're kind of like that masculine, strong energy. Maybe this is the boundaries that you've set. So in terms of celebration, I feel like this is boundaries. That's what I said last week too. This is a celebration that you have come through it all. In terms of the disseminating, giving and receiving, maybe you gave to yourself some emotional freedom, freedom in terms of like setting the boundaries and be like, no, nope, I'm not dealing with this, I'm doing this right now, however this looks like for you and your work. In terms of me, when I think of this, I think of batching. Batching is like my new favorite thing. I like plan for like two months in advance and I batch content within two or three days and then I'm like set up for the next two months. I'm like, oh my gosh, that alleviates so much of that constant thinking. You know, we only have a certain amount of mental capacity to think about um, you know, to make decisions. What do they call it? Decision fatigue. So you only have a certain amount of decisions. That's why you look at like Steve Jobs um, and Mark Zuckerberg, you know, wealthy, wealthy companies that they have created become a vibrational match to, but they wear the same clothes every single day, which alleviates the amount of decisions that they need to make. That's really interesting. Oh, I really like that. So you're celebrating how far you have come. I feel like this is the boundaries. Now the 10 of wands, the 10 of wands is like carrying too much on your back. Like you can see like this, this woman is, is basically the tree trunk and she's like holding all of this above her. So maybe you've been carrying the weight, probably the emotions, you've been carrying too much. Maybe you've been physically carrying someone in terms of maybe this could be finances. Maybe this is, I feel like it's, 
Well, it's the ones, it's passion. Maybe you've been taking on too much in terms of your career and now it's time to, to figure it back. I have massive heart. Across my heart chakra here, I'm just feeling like, like a stitch has just come in and it's been quite painful and you're like I can't be doing this like I you know I can't be doing this for the next 20 and 30 years like this is just too much and in terms of this one here she's trying to do everything you know how we've been saying work smarter not harder have you actually been doing it but as we're reflecting over this moon cycle maybe you're releasing doing all of that in terms of disseminating moon you're grateful for the blessings in your life. I give and receive abundance from a place of love. Are you doing things from a place of love or out of obligation? Because that's different. Obligation is usually fear. How does that all fit in? Let me just figure this out. You've gotten to a level in terms of, I feel like you've gotten to the boundaries. I feel like that's boundaries and you're celebrating those boundaries and you're like not allowing this. That's probably why this card was separate from the other ones that fell out. What are you giving to yourself? Freedom, boundaries, time, energy, energy to yourself to work on the things that actually matter. Wow. All right, let's have a look at Tuesday. This is still in the disseminating moon. One kind angels, please, for my beautiful MK love thing. There it is. Page of Wands. This is beautiful. She is effortlessly composed she's just, it's effortless like she does things because it feels good she's so much in the flow she's in alignment she's also highly regarded she is someone who has been through it all risked it all for this life we choose it's all an adventure it comes with the breathtaking view walking a tight rope with you there's some lyrics in here. Some people long for a life that is simple and planned, tied with a ribbon. Some people won't sail the sea because they're safer on the land. Comfort zone. To follow what's written, I follow you to the great unknown. Hand in my hand, hand and I promise to never let go. We're walking a tightrope. High in the sky, we see the whole world down below. Never sure, never know how far we could fall, but it's all an adventure that comes with a breathtaking view. She's walked this tightrope. She's walked the walk. She's felt the, the guidance of what she needs in, in, to manifest. In terms of receiving, she's taken a risk. She's taken a risk. She's taken a chance. She's done things that she didn't actually expect she was going to do, but she knows that the reward is going to pay off for her tenfold and people are looking up to her going damn girl you know you got some courage you got some balls I can't believe you did that and you're like I can't believe you're staying where you are she's just beautiful let's just because it was like I pulled the ten of wands and it was like heart chakra pain heart chakra which I haven't really had heart chakra pain in a long time usually it's been the communication speaking your truth but it was interesting as we're going back how things slightly shift She's just beautiful. She's very respected though. She's also a leader, but she's not a leader in terms of like, you will do this. She's very free, but like assertive. Like that's someone who can discipline without yelling. However, that looks like for you. I'm thinking of discipline because we're house sitting a dog. <laughs> we're like, okay, how do we discipline in different ways? You know, because every, every animal that we house it is completely different. All right, Wednesday. And it was interesting that the first song that I heard, and now I hear that song from any. So maybe da -da -da, the last one will be done. Da -da 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 -da, baby. Maybe. Well, that's from the musical Annie. So maybe. Maybe far away. Oh, okay, let's have a look at this one. Maybe far away lyrics. It's interesting, I just heard that after the Ariel song. Maybe far away or maybe real nearby. He may be pouring his coffee. He may be straightening his tie. Maybe in a house or maybe on a hill. 
she's playing she's sitting playing piano he's sitting paying a bill betcha they're young betcha they're smart um, but they collect things like ashtrays and art betcha they're good why shouldn't they be their one mistake was giving up me oh so she's been through oh because that was like when because Andy's the orphan and she's trying to find her parents I don't know if any of you have seen that I don't know why I heard that song so maybe now it's time and maybe when I wake, they'll be calling me baby, maybe. As long as they're mine and maybe now this prayer's the last one of its kind, won't you please come along and get your baby? What does that mean for you? It's like hope. Maybe. That's a beautiful song. I'm gonna go on and see if I can piece together. That song may mean something to some of you. I don't understand it just yet. Maybe I need to go back and watch that movie. Ah, that's it. Okay. Oh, beautiful. The Six of Wands is very much a victory. It's like getting to this. I'm very distracted. What is that silly thing? Maybe. I'm going back to that song. So you put in the boundaries for Monday. We're celebrating that you have put through the boundaries as we're in the deceiving, receiving. Maybe the boundaries, maybe you put the boundaries in before, like last week when you were speaking your truth and now you're reaping the rewards. In terms of the page of the ones, you're able to do create those beautiful things that makes you feel good. Maybe you feel a little bit of the, the block, the blockage has been removed. And then in terms of the six of one, it's victory. It's like, yeah, you've released those. Ah, now I'm feeling heart pain. Oh my God, normally it's just like over this side, but it goes straight across here. I receive abundance from expected inspected. I receive abundance from a place of love. Six of wands, victory. I just feel like you've come a long way. You've released things and now they're helping you prepare for the next phase of the moon cycle as we go into the new moon in like a couple of weeks time. Well, a week's time after this. I keep going back to that song. I'm gonna keep going on. Let's see what we need to know for Thursday. Thursday is in the last quarter of the moon. I'm so happy and grateful for everything I have achieved this month. It's been a lot of work and I know that my future self will thank me for it. I breathe with ease and finish off any outstanding tasks. There were a lot. There was um, one over this side. Can you see that? Yeah. And then there's three over here. So let's just see what we need to know. Oh, the 10 of cups. We had this recently as well. Wow. Okay. So the fact that you have been doing the inner work and vocalizing the things that you want to have changed, I feel like this is terms of your boundaries and speaking your truth. You uh, now at the level of the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is a really magical card because it's basically showing pure bliss and you're just floating in the water and it's very much a, I hear the word synchronized, a synchronized affair where it's very, it's pure, it's honest and it's detached from the ego. I feel like honest is probably a really good way. It's very blissful and honest. They're probably the two words I keep hearing over and over. It's like you've been through so much in terms of your emotions. And in terms of the Ten of Swords, as in like releasing this pain, you're breathing with ease now because you've done the hard work. If you haven't done it yet and you're like, Mel, what the hell are you talking about? You can still release. So you can release any of your pain at any time of the moon. It's most powerful that you do it at the full moon in terms of the one we had last week which was the lunar eclipse in Capricorn that's like the most supercharged healing if you didn't do it that last week or maybe you feel like you you just took one layer of the onion and there's more to go you know keep going until you can talk about whatever you're going through and it doesn't upset you if you're at the stage where you're like I don't know you how to even get to that stage check in the description and you will see um heal your childhood trauma click on that link and it will give you more information about how you can do that i'm going to see what the other cards are wow 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 okay 
In terms of you getting to this stage, you have the King of Pentacles. I'm also getting a massive headache now, like I've just been hit on this left side of my head. You have the Three of Cups, which is the teamwork, which is what we've been having for a while. We've got the Lovers card and we also have the Chariot. So there is a lot that has been going on behind the scenes. You're breathing with ease. I feel like a lot of you don't have any outstanding big tasks. It's kind of like the little ones. That's for the majority of you. It really just depends where you are in your journey. And if you're new to the fam, then maybe you have more than people who've been following along every week. You're so happy and grateful for everything you have achieved because you're setting yourself up for success and long-term stability too. Pentacles, you've gotten, it, he's very grounded. He's very nurturing. He's very kind. He's very humble. What do acorns mean? Anyone knows the symbolism of acorns? Can you let me know? He's got a dragon behind him. He's got his hands out. So he's like not wavering and he's very much like, I surrender to, to it all. So you've surrendered. You've gotten to a level of abundance. So you've, I think of the abundance, that's the emotional health. I know it's the pentacles and not that, but abundance can infiltrate into so many different areas. You've had to work with somebody to get to that. The three of cups, that's teamwork. Either this is your partner I'm going back to partner, but, but then I've also got, but you are your own best friend too. Then the lovers card, the lovers can be platonic. It could be romantic. It could be this love for yourself. It, there's so many ways to read it. And the chariot is knowing that you have freed yourself. You're become unstuck in that. And that's why the 10 of cups is such a beautiful card. It's like you literally have freed yourself from that. There's no more chains, no more chain of fools going on. Okay. Friday. All right, 22 minutes. I got to get a wriggle on, <clears throat> which happens every week. Friday, please, angels. That one. Ooh, okay. Seven of Pentacles is you get to make a decision, or make a choice. Um, Seven of Pentacles. So you've got these beautiful like apricots growing, and you decide when is the right moment. Think of it like an avocado. <laughs> it's like, is it ready now? Is it ready? Nope. Is it ready? Nope. Nope. It's gone. You know, like just, <laughs> I don't know why I thought about an avocado now. Maybe because it's all about the timing and when you have to cut it. It's, you get it, you get to decide when, how does this breathe? I breathe, I finish up any outstanding tasks. So you get to decide. It's a decision though. Making a decision. Do you eat the fruit? You've done all the hard work, like you've gotten to a stage where you learned how to grow whatever you're trying to grow. You know, um, what's this one? Is the Eight of Pentacles? No, that's a blue card. I'm thinking of the spider web. I'm not too sure. This is about making a decision. What does that mean though? Let's get one more card for clarity on that one so I can figure it out. There it is. The Hanged Man. Okay, so maybe the decision, maybe you were a little indecisive. Yeah, we're indecisive because we've got, what is it, that Pluto retrograde? Yeah, the Saturn retrograde. A difficult time for making important decisions due to negative thoughts and indecision, the Lord of Karma. Maybe you're the karma that you have been served. Maybe this victory, you may not see it as a victory just yet, but in the long term, you're like, oh my God, I'm so glad that that happened. Hanged man is looking at things from a different perspective. The decision that you have to make, you've kind of like, I can't believe I'm faced with this indecision and you're confused by it, but it's actually divinely orchestrated that now you actually get a choice. Well, let's see what Saturday and Sunday is. Better be quick, 24, 25 minutes. Okay. Saturday, please angels, disseminate, uh, last quarter, one card. Lots of threes, which has kind of been happening for a while. Ooh, okay, the Knight of Swords. Wow, he is fierce. He's like, don't, don't mess with me. That don't impress me much. Bum, bum, bum. So you got the moves, but have you got the touch? How does that fit in? Wow, wow, and wow. Same cards. Queen of Cups is at a level of emotional freedom, just dancing around and like, I'm walking on sunshine. Wow, and it's time I feel good. Good. Oh, yeah. 
Six of Pentacles is the cycles of life, the giving and the receiving. <laughs> that totally fits in with where we're at this week. But it's also that things can grow out of the most uncomfortable situations. There is always something to be thankful for. There is all, how does that fit in with that though? The Knight of Swords. It's like you're on a journey, you're on a quest, you've got the boundaries, you have the armor, you have these beautiful birds as protection, but you're, you're like, the knight just never, never settles. He's just like, boom, this is the way I'm going to do it and things are going to work out for me. And it pays off in terms of like the emotional freedom that he's feeling from this. He feels free because he's, he's already made his decision. Maybe you make the decision come Saturday and the six of pentacles, how does this fit in with all of this? Six of pentacles, things are growing through the balance of the giving and the receiving. Things are growing through, like you've got that plant down the bottom growing through this yucky soil. It's like things are coming, depends on where you're at. Either you're the piper or you're the plant. It just depends where you're at. But that's a really, really great day, Saturday. Sunday, and then that's it. What do we need to know for Sunday? Oh, my camera cuts out. So, oh, okay, there's a lot. Okay. Knight of Wands. Okay, so there's a lot of movement that is happening, but why is it happening in that phase of the moon? The moon is starting to wane down. The knight, he's on a journey, he is moving. He's the same as like the King of Swords, but this is in terms of like, okay, you put the boundaries in, you've gone through the challenges, and now you're able to go through and work on those creative talents and abilities. Maybe you now have that, that strength to finish things off, you know, quickly get them done. But in terms of that, you've got the four of pentacles, which is about hoarding, and it's not knowing that you can achieve more greatness. And then the ace of wands, creative talents and abilities. Maybe you're worried about finances. And is that affecting finances? something maybe worried about moving not finding the right place maybe you're worried about you're kind of holding something too close and when you hold it too close you block the law of attraction so there's something that you're kind of like holding on too close and your angel's like mate just let it go you need to just breathe through it how does this fit it's been a lot of work and i know my future self will thank me for it so you found the movement Things are going well, you've made the decision. You're kind of like, oh, I didn't expect to make that decision, but I have to look at this from a different perspective. The angels are telling me this is where I need to be. You find that emotional freedom. You're kind of like, mm, the four of pentacles tricks me up because it's about holding yourself back. It's like you found that movement, but you're kind of like, I feel like that's when the fear is coming up. You're like making decision from a place of fear and not love. I have to go, my loves. That's your time. That's 29 minutes. Let me know what you think for the last Saturday and Sundays. Because they kind of tricked me up a little bit this week. Anyways, my love, thank you so much for watching. Maybe this will make sense to you. Maybe I'm not the one that's meant to decode it. Maybe this is for you this week. Who knows? I'm going to surrender to the process and set myself free. Thank you so much. If you are joining me live on the live chat, I truly appreciate you. And I love writing back to you. That's like one of my favorite things to do on a Sunday night. And if you're catching the replay, please let me know any thoughts that came up and I'll be getting back to you next week. Just before I go through the live chat, that's when I catch up with all of the different comments. Anyways, my love, interesting week. I kind of feel like it's not resolved. I don't really know how this week goes together because the Ten of Swords, like the focus card for this week is allowing things to go that don't serve you, which is releasing. But if, the, if we looked to last week when we had the, what was it? The partial lunar eclipse full moon in 24 degrees of Capricorn. That was about telling your story and speaking your truth and finding that inner strength. And then this week in terms of receiving, it's like, yeah, you've done a lot. I understand that part, you know. I think when it gets into Thursday to Sunday, which is the last quarter of the moon, breathing with ease and finishing off any outstanding task, I feel like that's where it tricks me up. Maybe not because I understand Thursday. Thursday makes a lot of sense. Friday is that decision. 
Maybe we'll know as the week progresses and things become revealed to us, but usually I can figure it out and this week I'm not like super confident with it. Knight of Swords, Queen of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Four of Pentacles and Ace of Wands. Am I pulling too many cards now? Maybe that's why I'm getting confused, but I feel like, I don't know, I'm just gonna leave it there, my love. Have an amazing week wherever you are in the world and I will talk to you soon.